And the Reds will be active trying to give Brian Price what he needs to win, but the bank account is tight, and they will have to do some moves just to restock. So they're starting with a bench, a reported two-year deal with 33-year-old Skip Schumacher. Reds are waiting on a physical to confirm the transaction. First reported by FoxSports.com, left-handed hitter. Schumacher back up for the Dodgers last year. 263. He plays all three outfield spots and second base. Jockety drafted Schumacher when he was with the St. Louis Cardinals and was the GM there. The uh, Bengals head to the bye week in the right spot. They're in first place in the AFC North, but they're not in the spot offensively that they'd like to be. Struggling and inconsistent. They gained only 106 yards on the ground Sunday. They're averaging 3.7 per carry on the year. Through 11 games, only seven rushing touchdowns. And to allow Andy Dalton and A.J. Green to excel, the ground game must be uh, getting in gear. We need to keep being better and be more consistent in the run game. And, uh, and we need to be more consistent throwing the football. And uh, we weren't very good uh, at that. Um, you know, last week we had a bunch of yards and little points. This week, uh, a lot of points and no yards. So we got to find the happy medium and make first downs on, you know, convert third downs. and and uh, get the ball moving down the field. Uh, Bengals Nation Wednesday night. Special treat for you, Marvin. And I will be live to uh, take the segment out to the Holy Grail. The man who came up from the practice squad to return the block punt for a TD, Tony Dye. He's going to be there as well. 6 to 8, Holy Grail Wednesday. Hope to see you there. The football world lost a great person today. The former Bengal Raider, recently released Falcon Thomas Howard, died in Oakland when he lost control of his BMW at 100 miles per hour, hit the back of a semi, flipped, launched his car into oncoming traffic. Howard and the driver of the car he hit on the other side both died. Howard was one of the truly good guys in the locker room. He will be missed. Ohio State still undefeated, still nowhere close to playing in the BCS championship game. They are third in the BCS rankings, but they're in danger of falling to fourth behind Baylor if, even if they win. And Coach Urban Meyer isn't altogether thrilled with the whole system. Spending much time on it because it's not fair to our team for me to spend much time on it. But I will say this, that uh, uh, I think it's a flawed uh, system. But when you logically think about it, it what, what the BCS people have done, uh, which obviously we're all part of it, I think it was great for a while. They lost to the new number one Michigan State. Then it's Kansas, Louisville, Ohio State is eighth, Indiana's 27th. Xavier's getting votes, enough to be counted as 34th. UC counted as 42nd.